You're a Yale grad, very impressive. Finished at the top of your class, and you have multiple sexual assault allegations against you. On Thursday, Dr. Christine Blasey Ford and Brett Kavanaugh appeared before the Senate Judiciary Committee to provide their respective testimonies in the sexual misconduct case brought against Kavanaugh by Dr. Ford. Dr. Ford told the committee that she was 100% sure the Supreme Court nominee was the man who attacked her at a high school party in the 1980s, while Kavanaugh emphatically denied the claims, accusing the Democrats of fostering a calculated and orchestrated political hit. Kavanaugh is facing at least five accusations of sexual misconduct, but only Ford has been invited to testify before Congress. On Comedy Central's Daily Show, Trevor Noah acknowledged that testimonies were the only story anyone was talking about today. Noah referenced one particular part of Dr. Ford's testimony in which the psychology professor explained how she was sure that her alleged attacker was Kavanaugh by referring to norepinephrine and epinephrine encoding memories into the hippocampus of the brain. Oh, snap! <laughs> People were asking how the lady can trust her brain. Turns out she's a brain scientist! <laughs> Noah then made a hypothetical joke about how the room full of senators might have reacted to such a succinct response from Dr. Ford. Yeah, those senators were probably like, oh, yes, we're also familiar with the, the hippopotamus. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> we also know that. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Over on CBS, the late show Stephen Colbert called Thursday the most divisive day in America since Laurel and Yanni. If Yanni was trying to get on the Supreme Court and Laurel had some really disturbing stories to tell about him. Colbert also took a jab at the Senate Judiciary Committee after playing a clip of Senator Chuck Grassley telling Ford that she could request anything that she needed and didn't have during the proceedings. Okay, how about an FBI investigation? <laughs> Over on ABC's Jimmy Kimmel Live, Kimmel pointed out that the hearings made for some pretty emotional television, much like a certain NBC drama. People were crying in front of their televisions. It was, you'd have thought Milo Ventimiglia got killed by a crockpot. Like his late night counterparts, Kimmel pointed out that even the right leaning Fox News called Ford a credible witness. She was everything the Democrats hoped she would be. She was polite, likable, and well spoken. And maybe more than anything, it was striking to see someone questioned before the Senate who actually answered questions. I think that's a first. On NBC's Late Night, Seth Meyers devoted his A Closer Look segment to the historic hearings. Like Noah, Meyers chose to examine the moment when Ford explained how brains store particular memories, saying, she's in the middle of testifying in the intense glare of the national spotlight about an alleged sexual assault committed by a Supreme Court nominee, and she just taught everyone how the brain works. She gave a detailed anatomy of the hippocampus and the memory centers in the brain to a room full of guys who look like they eat brains. Myers also slammed Kavanaugh's angry written testimony where he called the allegations part of an elaborate democratic political hit. Holy shit, I'm surprised he didn't start attacking George Washington. If he's so honest, why does he wear a wig, Myers quipped. Republicans always act like they're in a slasher film and the killer around every corner is Hillary Clinton. Meanwhile, over at NBC's Tonight Show, Jimmy Fallon poked fun at President Donald Trump when addressing the hearings, saying that Trump knew it wasn't going well while watching from aboard Air Force One. You could tell it wasn't going well, because midway through, Trump tried stepping outside to get some air. He's like, <laughs> oh my goodness. And on CBS's The Late Late Show, James Corden pointed out a moment when Republican Senator Chuck Grassley, who was leading the proceedings, interrupted Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein. Senator Feinstein said it was her turn to speak, but since it was coming from a woman, Grassley didn't believe her. To watch full clips of The Late Night host reacting to the testimonies of Dr. Christine Blasey Ford and Brett Kavanaugh, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.